found the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul what's up guys welcome back to my channel today's video is another easy sewing tutorial of this beautiful dashiki dress if you haven't subscribed yet kindly click that subscribe button and let's just get right into the video the materials needed for this tutorial is the fabric a pair of scissors a tailor's chalk or pen whichever one you use paint thread a measuring tape or tape roll and your ruler the first step is to fold your fabric Usually we fold fabric in two but for this tutorial I'll be folding my fabric into four because I want to cut both the front and the back piece together. I folded the fabric using my nape to sleep length measurement which was 17 plus 1 inch allowance making it 18 inches. Now I'm measuring the length of the gown which is 38 inches plus 2 inches allowance making 40 inches. The next step is to place your shoulder measurement divided by two mine is seven and i marked it and then i added the sleeve measurement that i wanted which is 10 inches to it that means we are cutting both the shoulder and the sleeve together here i measured a neck width of three and a half inches by two inches depth for the back piece and three and a half by four inches depth for the front piece At the sleeve length, I came down by one and a half inches, connecting it to the neckline to form a shoulder slant. From the new shoulder slant, I measured a round sleeve of 11 inches which i later changed to 10 inches because i felt 11 inches was too wide but here is me marking 11 inches and that line became the new bust line where the bust measurement is going to be applied From the shoulder i measured my vertical waist measurement of 15 inches and also my hip measurement of 24 inches and I just drew an horizontal line all the way to the edge. Here I took my bust measurement, the horizontal measurement, divided by four, which was about nine and a half plus three inches ease and one inch allowance it could be two or three inches i chose three i put the same for my waist which was eight plus three inches ease and one inch allowance and also did the same for my hip which was about ten and a half which was ten and a half actually plus three inches and one inch allowance three inches ease and one inch allowance after that, I connected the points, that is, that is the um, bust, waist and hip point. And then I took the total measurement of my hip at minus 2 inches from it. And then I used that new measurement as the uh, measurement of the length, as the horizontal measurement of the length. And then I connected that to the hip. This is the part where I changed my previous 11 inches round sleep to 10 inches because I remember I said it was quite wide and I didn't want to be so wide. Now I'm connecting that to the waistline with a curve. I'm connecting it in a curve shape. 
and now I'm smoothing out the other edges so it doesn't look so sharp. Here I'm just marking a straight line to that slip length mark so that the one inch allowance I left will be visible. I'm cutting the back neck first and then I'll separate it from the front and then I'll cut the front neck. Here I'm cutting the facing of the back piece which is just going to take the same shape of the neckline and to be about 3 or more inches wide and I repeated the same for the front but for the front I measured I measured 4 inches to make it slit down to make it easier for the head to pass through and also cut the facing for it the next step is the pocket. I did a very simple one using my hand as a template. I made sure there was enough space between my fingers and the edge for sewing allowance. Now I'm cutting that out and I'll use this one to make a replica because there will be two pockets. To join the facing, you have to make sure that the right side of both the facing and the main fabric are facing. And then here I pinned it down to make joining it easier. And because it is a curve, after joining it, I notched around the curve to make the neck relax. But I also did the same for the front piece. Here I'm putting the right side of the back piece and front piece together so that I can pin down the shoulder line and be able to join the shoulder after joining the two pieces at the shoulder I measured from the shoulder to about 18 inches this 18 inches is going to be the mark point for the pocket where the point and um, pockets are going to be fixed and I'm taking one piece and attaching it to the front piece with the right sides facing and I'll take the other piece and attach it to the back piece with the right sides facing also. After each piece of the pockets have been attached to both the front and the back, I'll hem the the um, the sleeve and then join the sides around the pocket and going all the way down to the hem line. This is what it should look like once you are done. The hem sleeve, the joint sides going around the pocket all the way down to the hem line at the length. So we have come to the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave a comment down below of what you think. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!